Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be playing the Long Shot Cup. Uh, on the offline mode, I wanted to try this ultimate difficulty because I never tried it before. Um, so, let's see how it goes. We've got the first game here we got by Leverkusen. Uh, I figured what I would need to do right at the start is change my formation to something with like a defensive mid. Uh, I normally play 4-3-1-2, but I just dropped my, like, my central midfielder into... Uh, like a CDM position it doesn't start particularly well for me the uh, computer on this on this difficulty is pretty insane if they get the ball uh, they don't often let it go and uh, they scored after 13 minutes but I replied straight away carrying Benzema a nice bit of play between him and Ozil or Falcao or something uh, and I scored to make it 2-1 and that I don't know I have no idea how that's not offside by Falcao um, because surely when uh, Benzema took the shot there he was way offside but you have to score literally every chance that you get on this game because the computer will just come back with something like that um, the keepers don't seem to do as well your passing doesn't seem to go as well it feels sluggish and the uh, opposition team feel crazy good but I like this goal right here apparently Ozil has got pace and strength and he does one of the triple X uh, crosses and then Benzema slides in to, to finish it off there in the 59th minute. And I believe that this is how this game ends. A nice 3-2 win in my first game, which is uh, pretty good if I do say so myself. Uh, the computer is very, very difficult. Uh, you can see that in the 90th minute they're putting pressure in, they're just playing balls over the top. But eventually we get that win for our first game and we now move on to game two. Now game two here is against Olympic Lyon. I know they've got pacey wings and Gomez up front who's strong. So what I'm going to go and do straight away is change my formation yet again to that defensive, more defensive. Apparently it's a 4-3-3 custom but uh, also playing defensive by dropping down on the, uh, the left uh, D-pad. Yeah, so move it down to defensive. But Aguero crosses in a nice ball here for... Falcao, El Tigre to head in with his 91 head in. Um, I found that was one decent way to score. Obviously, that's that's known as a good way to score online if you're a bit cheap. Um, but obviously, against the computer, against ultimate difficulty, anything goes. Now, I also found that I was 1-0 up at half time, so I decided, right, I'm just going to play the ball around. Uh, and it was quite easy to do this for the whole second half, but you watch what happens when 80th minute comes. Boom, they all start running at me. Obviously, the computer moved to, like, ultra attacking or something. And it became so difficult for the last few minutes to start keep playing the ball around. Because I could not just play it around the defense and stuff. And they were constantly chasing me. It was crazy. So, um, that's one thing to bear in mind if you're going to play this on ultimate difficulty. After about 80 minutes, if they're losing, the computer puts it on ultra attacking. And they all start charging you down. So, as you can see, they're 74% possession just because I was holding it. Third game here, we've got Man United. Now, I think this was definitely my toughest game of the uh, tournament so far. Definitely, and probably out throughout the whole thing. Um, but we get a cheeky, cheeky tramp goal there. I uh, could have shot there with, a, uh, with Benzema, but decided to just tramp it and make sure the goal actually goes in. And that's pretty much all she wrote for this game. Uh, I decided to just try and keep it and play it along the back again. And um, after 80 minutes, they did the same thing where they, they all went ultra attacking, which was difficult to manage. But we got that win against Man United. And as you can see here, we're into the final. We've got Tottenham, which I was quite happy about because I was expecting like Barca or AC Milan or something. I actually found Tottenham quite an easy team to, um, to play against. They didn't really have as much ball possession as I did. Um, whereas before, it was like 30% possession for me and 70 for the opposition. So uh, I was I was getting some chances and stuff, and at half time we went into the dressing room at nil nil. So we've got 45 minutes left in order to try and secure a victory, win our inform Honda. And uh, 56 minutes in, Brad Friedel takes a goal kick, knocked down. Parker Parker plays it through to Adebayor, who just somehow gets through and slots it past Joe Hart. We're 1-0 down, second half of the final, but Aguero takes a shot. I thought that was going to go in with his five-star weak foot. 
unfortunately not. We're, we're peppering the goal now. And Karim Benzema from the corner gets a nice header. We're one all now. That was a quick response. It was only the 67th minute. And uh, the last 10 minutes of this game, I think they went on ultra attacking again. And we're just taking shots from crazy distance like that. And they were always on the ball. The possession was definitely with Tottenham in the second half. Uh, Adebayor takes a shot here, oh, just wide, but from this goal kick, we start going ham. Joe Hart, Joe Hart to Benzema, flicks it on to David Silva, Silva to Falcao, plays it to Aguero, knocks it back, Falcao's through, one on one, tramps open, Aguero screaming for it, 2-1, 89th minute, we've got a 2-1 victory going on here, if we can just get the ball and hold possession. So what we're going to try and do is just straight away run up to them. We put it on ultra defensive straight away as you can see in the bottom right corner there. Get the ball back and all we're going to do is just play it around our defence. And then... That's it! They've done it! They've won the cup! There can be no better feeling in football! That is what you want to hear. Those words, you've won the cup. Uh, Delightful, and our trophy for winning is Inform Keske Honda. I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, this little series, I guess, in all in one video of me winning the Long Shot Cup. Uh, I think I'm going to keep Honda because he doesn't really sell for much, and I'm going to try and base a team around him. So in a couple of videos' time, you'll tr you'll see some sort of hybrid squad with Honda. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later. Peace.